Hey everybody, I wanted to show you uh, this toy projector I found and its really unique approach to intermittent motion and would love to get your feedback on it as a possibility for Kinograph. This is an 8mm machine, it also does Super 8. Um, the basics here, um, the takeoff or the uh, feed reel up through here, through the gate, down, uh, over this, and then, sorry, this also comes down through here. So this is a single toothed wheel and it will pull the film from here and it feeds it through there passively. On the other side is just a hand crank. Uh, there's not really anything else on the other side. It's kind of hard for me to move because I have this hooked up to some other stuff. Um, and that's really it. Uh, it's super simple. Here's the swing arm for the take-up reel. Uh, just to provide some extra tension. There is, I believe, some sort of link up. I'll do a, a full teardown of this later. You can see there's some linkages in there. Uh, it's really just a rubber band um, here and then uh, link up to the central shaft for this so that it's all together. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you how this stuff actually works because it's really crazy. I never would have thought of this. This is the pressure plate. Um, I've hacked it open to do some tests with and it's Pretty, pretty basic, um, but the one interesting thing is this claw, and you probably won't be able to see it very well. There we go. Um, it's on a spring because you have to remove this peg there from being in the way of the film, but eventually that's going to catch the sprocket hole, and you can see it, it kind of ramps down off of the gate and allows us to sit here kind of loosely, but enough tension is still there, enough pressure is still there to catch the perf hole with this thing, all right? And then on the bottom here is a spring-loaded swing arm, which I've hooked up very roughly to a, a switch just for testing. And um, so what happens is if we put the film back in its place, close this up, make sure I've got it working right. I do not. I don't think I got it lined up quite right. There we go. So what happens is it's stuck right now on the on that little knob. If I pull down, it doesn't work. But as this pulls the film, it will pull the film away from that knob until it's loose enough that the film slips through. And when it does so, this swings back in and makes it so that it gets stuck again. So it's pulling it away from the knob this way and then pushes the arm back in so that it gets stuck again. I can't believe this works, but it's so cheap. It's one spring, a little roller on a plastic arm, and fully direct drive from this one little sprocket. It's pretty genius. So how do they take care of eight and super eight switch over? Well, you have to switch this out because the sprockets are spaced differently. And you have to switch this the, the peg thing out because it's in a slightly different location for the others. And that involves taking off a bunch of pieces and screws and this whole pressure plate comes out which is different. So there's some uh, room for improvement there but I would love to get your feedback on whether or not you think this is a destructive process for the film or if it's totally acceptable given most 8mm films are in pretty good shape etc etc. Uh, let me know what you think.